Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another interesting session that is related to requested for variable type. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let us proceed about a requested for variable type and I will tell you what is all about this. So requested for variable type is launched in Paris version of ServiceNow where it has eliminated the use of gs.getUserID while we are adding the current logged in user in the current uh, variable type if we are, are referencing it to a user table. Right, so ServiceNow has provided the requested for variable type where you no, you are not required to add gs.getUserID to this particular variable and you can directly uh, fetch the logged in user in this variable. Alright, so requested for variable type is very much useful and this requested for variable type is used in a single catalog item as a once or in a variable set or in one catalog item it is used only one time all right so this is very useful uh, for us because it is not requiring any gs.getUserID to get the default value of the current logged in user right so there is another thing enable also request for so there is a checkbox under this variable type where we can enable this for requesting for multiple users suppose one keyboard is uh, requested for particular user and you can request it for more than one user suppose you can add four or five users and four or five ritm will be created as part of this particular uh, re enable also request for checkbox all right so let us proceed further and see how we can use this requested for variable type in our catalog item so let us proceed so you can see this is my personal developer instance and now I will open any catalog item and see what is all about uh, requested for. So maintain items and I will open. So this is our catalog item. Alright. So now. You can see uh, this is a catalog item and currently only one variable is created under this. So now let me create a new variable here. So I will add 200 and now I you can find here requested for. So you can see this is a requested for variable type which service now has added in Paris version. So I have clicked on it and it is not required to specify any table name. By default, it will fetch the user table for requested for field. You just have to provide the name. Suppose I will add name of the user. All right. That's it. Now let me submit this variable and see what, how the changes looks while. So you can see name of the user is already populated with default logged in user. So default logged in user is system administrator. So you can see the system administrator is automatically populated. And even we didn't write any gs.getUserID in default value. So I will show you what is the default value. Currently, you can see I didn't add any uh, default value. Previously, what people used to do, they, they are selecting ref type as reference and question and they are typing here javascript colon gs dot get user id. People used to write this previously. So even this is also not required to use in this uh, uh, usage of requested for variable type. So ServiceNow has reduced the use of this gs.getUserID JavaScript lines of code under this variable. Alright. Still people are using it. 
so i thought to make people more educated so that people can utilize requested for variable type all right so you can see we are having a uh, enable also request for what what this will do is like this will allow request to be raised for multiple users so let us try to check this and see how it looks and you can uh, add the roles who can uh, request for other people as well so you can provide some roles so currently i am not adding any role and user can request for uh, other colleagues as well so i will just save it and i will show you if i check on enable also request for what what changes happens so on back end side so this is the normal view of the form where you will not see any changes so request a uh, service catalog is generally displayed under service portal section so the changes will be applied on service portal section when you check box on enable also request for so let me try to open service portal for this so this is the service portal uh, so let me go to catalog so this is the request item i have clicked on this learn it group request catalog item and you can see you can see your name of the user is already auto populated as system administrator and now you can see this extra button is displayed here so you can click here and you can add multiple users suppose abraham lincoln abel twitter so you can see you can request this item for these two users as well so this is quite interesting uh, with the same feature you can add like uh, multiple user can request particular catalog item so this is really interesting feature people should utilize this for their catalog item because this will eliminate the use of gs.getuserid as a default value so yeah so i think we should try to use this requested for variable type so this requested for variable type uh, can be added only once for a particular catalog item all right so you cannot create more than one variable for one catalog item and as well as this variable is not supported for multi row variable set as of now all right and when the request is submitted this variable value will be visible in the variable editor and the variable summarizer where the approval can happen all right so this is all about requested for variable type so pro please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out if you are new to the channel please like share and subscribe to my channel learn it Thank you.